Hi everyone, it's Margaret here to share uh, my latest journal project with you. I've been working on this uh, for the last uh, two, three days, almost non-stop. Um, I had a very sleepless night last night, so this morning I was up quite early and uh, I was determined to get it finished. And as you can see, um, here it is. Uh, this journal is called Glamour, and uh, I was lucky to find um, some great uh, pictures, images on um, Pinterest, of uh, mostly of uh, Jean Harlow. And uh, Jean Harlow was the epitome of, uh, of glamour. She was absolutely stunning. Uh, for those of you who know her, I mean, she was before my, my time, but um, I think everyone, everyone knows Jean Harlow. Anyway, um, I loved some of the images that I found of her, and uh, so I decided um, Jean Harlow it is. As you can see, the cover has a beautiful picture of her um, with her gorgeous blue eyes and her ruby red lips. And um, so I made her the focal point of the, uh, of the cover. And as you can see, um, what I've done is I've um, put pearls all around the, uh, the image. I ruffled up some uh, flesh colored, uh, it's like a lining uh, fabric uh, that I had um, all around. And then I used another ruffle, which I've used before, had a little bit more of that. So I inserted that towards the back. And I had a, um, a half bow that I um, got from a garment and it's it's a beautiful rose color um, so I kind of reconfigured it I took it apart and I used it um, to embellish the corner and then uh, having um, um, cut it apart I used the pleated peat portion on the top just behind the the ruffle that I made here now as you can see um, it the um, the bow is in two pieces but I used a, uh, a trim on the, uh, on the first part of it that dangles down. Now this trim was given to me by Bonnie. Thanks, Bonnie. Um, and I've used a few of Bonnie's trims that she just recently sent me because I don't hoard my supplies. I really love to use them. So that, that is part of a trim that Bonnie sent me. I made a organza um, flower with some lace behind it. A beautiful applique from a from a wedding dress that I used in the corner and then I of course embellished her with some rhinestone trim to add a bit of sparkle and I used some um, I still have glue strings here um, some different uh, snippets from different appliques with some pearls and I found this uh, pretty little trim um, with the dangles it's, it's a little bit different um, on a, uh, it's not vintage, it was on a, uh, a tea topper, um, uh, table uh, topper, and so I use that on the side. On the uh, bottom there's some lace and some other layers, uh, and that's the cover. The first page. Uh, this is also a Hollywood starlet. I forgot her name now. Oh gosh, I was going to write it down, but now I forgot. But anyway, she's beautiful as you can see. Um, she takes the show on this page. And all I've done again is added some lace ruffle on the corner. And this too was a trim given to me by Bonnie. And I took it apart and used these pieces here to form petals around the uh, lower corner added some ruffle trim, again some different appliques with some dangles all around, and uh, I used again the, uh, the dangle trim from, uh, from Bonnie, and I made a uh, little rose out of a flesh-colored uh, fabric uh, with the lace um, underneath, and that's that page. The next page is again Jean Harlow, and I love this picture. She is stunning, and as you can see, um, she is covered with strands and strands of pearls that I took off a, uh, a garment, and then some beaded appliques from a wedding dress on the side. 
I embellished her with, with bracelets, with rhinestones, and then I took a piece of uh, silk fabric that I had and just roughly cut it to form a bow, and I used this little buckle um, to hold it in place. There's some uh, little trim, pink trim all around, another little uh, fl floral trim around here, and uh, it's really studded with pearls. This is a really pretty page. And that's that page. The next page, again, it's a Jean Harlow shot. And um, here I have used the famous tassel trim, again, that Bonnie sent. And it's absolutely beautiful. I love this tassel trim. I could have hoarded it, but I decided, no, I'm going to use it. And what better way? Um, I used it on this page with some other um, trim that I had that I got off a garment and I put that all around. I made a um, like a bow ruffle and uh, used that as a, a focal point in the corner and then just added some wedding dress appliques and this um, I repeated the, um, the leaves from another project that I had. I loved it so much. Uh, this was from a curtain so I created a three-dimensional uh, uh, leaf and uh, I put, put it in the corner there with a pearl. Again, she is uh, studded with some rhinestone for her necklace and her earring. And there is that page. The next page, again, is Jean Harlow. Um, I took her picture and um, surrounded it with a couple of rows of ruffles that I had, again, from a blouse. And then from the base lace that I used for the journal, I uh, again, I made a ruffle for the top. And I used these, uh, these little snippets from a um, um, heavily beaded garment that I had to, uh, it, it, it's kind of um, tacked on um, around the ruffle. And uh, it's three dimensional. And then I used the same, uh, same trim to embellish the bottom of the ruffle, added a little bow, and as you can see, she has a, a beautiful little uh, crystal headpiece, and she's just gorgeous. Add a little bit of pearls, um, and a little uh, ruffle rosette with the lace, lace uh, backing. And that's that page. The next page, oh, I think it's, Jean, I think it's Jean Simmons, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's her name. But there she is again. She's absolutely beautiful with her white fur. And uh, I, what I did was I used sequins here, crystal uh, clear um, sequins for her earring and her shoulder piece on her dress. And this here was actually taken off a, uh, a garment. It's uh, some ribbon, ribbon embroidery. So I just snipped out little pieces of it and flowers and uh, just uh, started to piece it together on top of a, um, a beautiful embroidered uh, trim that I had. And then pieces of curtain uh, that I snipped out. I added a bit of uh, wedding dress applique dyed in pink to add a little bit of color. And I made a little, um, a uh, little rosette out of the pink moiré. Uh, I love moiré and I especially love this color of pink. It, it turned out really pretty. Underneath is some uh, layers of lace and trim. Again, this is the uh, variation trim from Bonnie that I snipped out and I used it here. And that's that page. Finally, the pocket page. Um, very simple. I had a uh, base fabric that I got from a lady's blouse and it had all these little floral gathers uh, all around it and uh, I really liked it. But I added the cream colored lace on top to soften the pink up a little bit and then I got, I created a little pocket and this was taken from uh, a lady's um, uh, nightgown, some lingerie. So I, um, I reconfigured that piece and created a pocket. And this, uh, I um, uh, made a little crown from a uh, curtain piece and um, a little shabby chic pink flower, some dangle trim on the bottom, and the same little dangle trim that I showed you before on the side. I used my famous 
covered buttons, which I love, and that's the pocket page. Now the back is just uh, the plain pink moire covered in the cream colored uh, lace, which I love. And this is the uh, this is the dangle trim I was talking about that I got from the T topper um, cloth, and it's absolutely beautiful. It has a netting effect. And then it has the little tiny teardrop dangles on the bottom, which is really pretty. I also use the, uh, the curtain dangles um, uh, all around the journal. I love this dangle. I'm pretty well all done with it now. But it, it's such a, a, soft, a soft cascading dangle. I just really, really love it. Um, the spine is, again, using the, um, some uh, floral uh, rosettes that I made out of the silk underneath and then the moray pink on top and then I use these uh, little crystal embellishments uh, to give it a little bit of sparkle. So there you have it. That's my glamour journal. She's quite large. Um, it started off with an 8x8 eight eight base but as you can see and as I always warn it does grow as you as you uh, embellish. So there it is. I had a great time making this because I love I love anything glamorous and um, and I love Jean Harlow. So I hope you liked it and um, hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.